Good evening. Tonight, I'm going to be doing a review for a Morgan Trayer Cut Virginia Plug. As far as I can tell, it is a fancy way of saying Virginia Flake. Could be wrong though. This late presentation here though is wonderful. Look at that. It's an incredibly good looking plate. The tin note is very interesting. It does not really smell like a straight Virginia to me in that um, I get a lot of different aromas that I don't typically associate with Virginia like uh, figs brown sugar molasses are the big smells I get from this. It's just delightful. It was kind of surprising seeing as it is a Virginia base. It says it is golden and orange Virginia, exceptional flavor of meadow honey and fruity citrus. So if you are to take the tin description at its word, this is a straight Virginia, which like I've said before, I'm really trying to get more into, especially as the weather here turns really nice. I just find myself kind of hankering for it a little bit and decided to broaden my horizons because up till now, the only Virginia that I've really liked is Rattrace 40. This is now on that same list. Um, the flavor is very good. I definitely see what they mean about the citrus. It kind of has the taste of, like, you know those little cutie oranges, those tiny little ones? It's kind of like that. Um, The honey, I don't get quite as much. Um, it's almost like, I don't mean this in the way that like perfume is floral, but I mean this floral in the sense that it tastes sweet, grassy, bright. Um, and a little bit citrusy. Delightful. Um, it's not a hit you over the head citrus. It's a nice, mellow, kind of relaxed citrus, which is really nice. But it burns very, very cool as far as Virginias go. Um, I've heard Virginias described as a more technical smoke, meaning you have to like pack it right and smoke at the right cadence in order to really enjoy them. And I kind of see where that is coming from because 
like as nice of flakes as these are, I still sometimes don't pack it very well, and that just jacks up the entire smoke for me. Like I'll get about halfway done the bowl and just be like, nah, no, I'm done with this. Um, which can be said of almost any flake, I suppose. Um, but I just find myself losing interest in this very rapidly if it hasn't been properly prepared. I kind of do get the honey a little bit. I think like a... Like you've seen those fancy like fruit flavored honeys, I think kind of like that, you know, it, it doesn't taste like straight up like guzzling honey, but it tastes like that really like, it tastes like they added like, Like honey with some sort of berry juice or berry in it. For those of you who are curious, my house is right next to a fairly busy intersection stoplight so every time you hear those really loud musics or those really loud engines roaring by the music is generally because somebody with their music turned up extremely loud has stopped at the stoplight right next to my house just in case you're curious But yeah, this doesn't really bite me very much unless I'm smoking it super fast. But if I'm taking my time and like sipping it and really like letting myself taste everything and kind of chatting a little, it does not bite me at all. Usually when I smoke a blend, the I let the smoke like fill up my whole mouth um, and kind of like push it out a little bit, which requires me to draw in a lot more smoke. But with this, I found it works best if I don't even put the whole bit in my mouth. I just kind of touch it to my lips. and breathe a little bit of smoke at a time. Otherwise it can kind of tickle the back of my throat a bit. Overall, delightful smoke. Would purchase again. It's a very good springtime, summertime blend. That is Cut Virginia Plug by Freiburg and Trayer. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening.